After announcing he was moving his insanely popular podcast to Austin, Texas a few years back, Joe Rogan also moved his family home there, which is where he's been living ever since. While his mansion in Austin was about four times more expensive than his former property in LA, with a price tag of $14.4 million, Joe can afford it for sure, considering his Spotify deal alone was worth $100 million. Not to mention, a move to Austin from Los Angeles would have saved the podcast king millions in taxes too. His beautiful Texas home spans nearly 11,000 square feet of modern living space with features like a full gym, sauna, pool, and much more. While interior have details like exposed concrete walls, soaring ceilings, and wooden floors. If you're a Joe Rogan fan, then you already know he moved from Los Angeles to Texas a few years ago. This big move coincided with his record-busting $100 million exclusive contract with Spotify to make the platform the official home of his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. Prior to that, while he lived in Los Angeles, Joe and his longtime wife, Jessica Ditzel, lived in a Bell Canyon mansion We'll check that one out after. Joe isn't the only celebrity who has left LA in recent years, and not the only one who's moved to Austin either. The Texas capital has become a magnet for high profile individuals who sought out a more relaxed and friendly environment, lower taxes, and a vibrant cultural scene. Other creators like Lauren Bostick of the Skinny Confidential podcast and creator Blair White are examples of some of the rich and famous who also chose to call Austin home over LA. Joe Rogan was reportedly drawn to Austin's natural beauty, friendly people, and he also wanted to escape the hustle of LA and live in a place that values freedom and individuality. Austin, with its diverse communities, thriving music and art scene, and progressive politics, fits the bill for him perfectly. Joe's Texas home cost him a whopping $14.4 million in an off-market deal in 2020, marking one of the biggest transactions in the area's history. For that price, he scored himself a waterfront mansion located in a desirable spot along Lake Austin, a quiet neighborhood away from downtown Austin, but not too far a drive. Some of the neighboring homes are owned by celebrities like Sandra Bullock and well-known business billionaires. His modern mansion boasts clean lines, geometric shapes, and massive windows in its architecture, while the lush property sits in the neighborhood of Spanish Oaks offering stunning views of the hill country. Joe's home was formerly a Tuscan-style McMansion, which wasn't very unique, built in 2006, but it was completely redone in recent years before Rogan bought it. The owner prior to Joe was an architectural designer himself, named Benjamin Woods, and he gave the place a makeover, turning it into a sleeker, Texas-inspired modern farmhouse with just a taste of the old style. Interiors boast a mix of minimal and industrial touches with exposed concrete walls, wooden floors, and soaring ceilings. Rogan's family residence measures in at a Texas-sized 10,980 square feet with seven beds and 10 baths while other amenities include a home theater, sauna, and much, much more. The exterior of Joe's property has a roomy motor court and paved path leading to the front door. While walking in, there's a double height entry with light wood walls and an artsy chandelier overhead. The interiors of the home are sunny, modern, and glam with top of the line appliances, exotic materials, and bright pops of color. We can see this in the formal dining room, which has been painted a shade of blue with gold fixtures and vintage look furniture. Nearby, there's also a lounge area with full wooden bar and a living room with full walls of windows and glass doors to the yard. In the stylish kitchen, there are double islands with pull-up seating, rustic farmhouse style light fixtures, and recessed lighting, while the attached, more casual dining area has a long table with more than enough room for Joe, his wife, and their three kids. Nearby, a large modern fireplace surrounded by antique cabinets sits beside this dining room and kitchen space. There's an open layout in most of the home, giving plenty of room to relax or entertain. Many common spaces with full walls of windows as well. With these new renovations, the entire living room area in the rear of the house doubles as a sunroom, featuring walls of glass. Of course, it wouldn't be Joe Rogan's house without a fully equipped gym. He had his home gym set up by Soren X, an exercise equipment company that produces weights, racks, and high-end machines. And if you watch his podcast videos on YouTube, you would also be familiar with this room. His podcast room was custom built for him sometime in 2020 and could be located in one of the property's other structures as well. Outside, the tree 
tree lined four acre lot sits on the reservoir controlled Lake Austin. And aside from the two attached garages, there's a carriage house perfect for an RV or a boat or to house the podcast studio. Either way, there's plenty of room for Rogan to store his extensive car collection and some toys for the lake. The backyard here is large and grassy, ideal for their family dog Marshall made a frolic. While a recent renovation added a large saltwater pool spanning 25 meters long to the property. Elsewhere, there's a solarium covered patio space to relax away from the Texas sun and a party deck. Furthermore, there's an impressive outdoor living area and it's said that there's a fire pit, grilling station, and a spa. While Joe has preached about moving to Austin so he can have a little bit more freedom, he's also saving about $13 million in tax breaks if he can take advantage of Texas's zero income tax. California's 13.3% income tax would have cost him $13.3 million on his $100 million deal. He'll also enjoy much lower property taxes at one 1.9% and no HOA fees. For Joe, his new mansion in Austin isn't just a place to live, but a retreat where he can pursue his passions and enjoy life to the fullest. He often hosts his famous friends and colleagues, and he's an avid hunter and fisherman, often going on trips to nearby lakes and ranches. Prior to his move to Texas, Joe had a pair of mansions in the Bell Canyon area of Los Angeles that he used to call home, one of which was purchased way back in 2003 for just over $2.3 million, according to records. Bell Canyon is located deep in the San Fernando Valley, and Joe's former home here was located alongside other large estates, standing out thanks to its roomy two-acre lot and lush landscaping, also called a secret garden. This home was originally built in 1970. And the main mansion had been completely renovated while Joe lived there. The home appears modest from the front, but inside it spans 7,573 square feet with five beds and five baths. Past the elaborate arched front door, the home boasts pure white walls, beamed ceilings, recessed lighting, and large picture windows. A formal dining area and den area located in the home's massive great room, along with a sculptural floating staircase leading upstairs. The kitchen is full of high-end European appliances, including a La Cordu gas range, breakfast bar seating, and more. Joe's former master suite here encompassed the entire second floor, while the other family bedrooms sit on the main level. The master bedroom had its own bridge leading to a private patio and separate sitting room with granite fireplace. Outside, the grounds were full of shady trees and grassy lawns, plenty of spaces to dine and take in the valley and mountain views, and a sparkling pool and spa. Other high Highlights of the property include a home office, a meditation atrium, a games room, and Joe's former gym, which is no surprise, decked out with photos of MMA fighters. Joe and his wife also owned another house just a stone's throw away in the same neighborhood, which he acquired in 2017 for $5 million. This place he reportedly spent more time in while living in LA, and it's very different in its design and much more contemporary than the other place. This open concept mega mansion featured 8,720 square feet of living space with six beds, nine baths, and a whole lot of luxury amenities. As soon as you walked in the front door, you could see almost the entire place, including down into the bottom floor, the dining room, out onto the patio, and into any of the multiple living spaces. It's basically one giant room separated by glass walls in a second floor, flooded with natural lights, and equipped with high ceilings and white walls. Joe's master bedroom was located on the bottom floor of his mansion, and like every other room in his home, the bedroom is completely open in both in terms of the indoor space and allowing for quick access to the outside. On the second floor, you'd find a seating area leading to a dining room and a more casual living space with a fireplace and TV. To the right was Joe's kitchen, the place where he cooked up all his meat. Of course, Joe also had a fully equipped home gym and after spending some time working out, he liked to unwind in his beautifully lit bathroom. Now that we've checked out the homes of Joe Rogan, including his current home in Austin, Texas, that's going to conclude today's tour. Before we go, answer me this. Would you move from the state you lived in and start completely fresh in order to avoid some hefty taxes? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you'd like to check out another tour before you go, then stay tuned because up next, we'll look at the properties of Dana White. Bye. I love the people that say you can't and the people that, that are begging for you to fail. That's what I feed off of. So yeah, if you tell me I, it can't be done, 
I'm gonna show you you're wrong. Dana White, who is known as an American businessman and sports promoter, and probably most famous for being the current president of the UFC, has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate in Las Vegas. In fact, Dana bought three properties next to each other for a combined total of $6 million before bulldozing them down in 2017 and built them all from scratch. Who has money to just do these things? Why can't I? For just under 1.8 million, Dana White's first house was 7,700 square feet, which he bought in October of 2006. Then he added another 5,500 square feet property for 2.4 million following in January. To complete the Dana White House trilogy, Dana bought the last 4,700 square foot house in March for $2 million. I'm guessing this guy has like the wildest parties and the loudest ones because there's no, there's no reason for this, fam. In addition, the marketing genius listed the ultimate fighter home, which put up and coming mixed martial artists in the same house, competing in a series of elimination matches to win a six-figure contract with UFC for $5 million in 2018. We'll take a look at Dana White's Mega Mansion and the Ultimate Fighter home. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour you don't want to miss, especially if you fight like me. I'm playing, I don't fight, I'm sorry. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Dana White has had quite the lucrative career being a successful businessman and sports promoter, earning a net worth of $500 million. When UFC sold in 2016, Dana owned 9% of the company. After taxes, Dana's 9% cut from the sale was around $360 million. Even today, Dana's salary is roughly $20 million a year. Before Dana got his big ticket, he relocated full-time to Las Vegas and in 1992 established Dana White Enterprises. It was around this time that he began managing fighters Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz. White continued to expand his horizons to the other styles of fighting, including Mish Martial Arts and Muay Thai styles that would later come to define the UFC. After reuniting with Lorenzo Farida in the mid-90s, Lorenzo quickly saw the profit that could be had and he made a deal to buy the UFC. Lorenzo also invited his older brother Frank to get in on the action. In total, the Farida brothers paid $2 million in 2001 for an 81% ownership stake in the UFC. They soon appointed White as president. From here, the UFC turned into an international phenomenon under his leadership. He has been able to increase the popularity of the sport and turn it into a multi-million dollar business. The UFC announced in May 2017 that White would be the host of a show called Dana White's Contender Series. This show is only available through UFC's digital streaming service, UFC Fight Pass. White revealed on March 18, 2019 that he had penned a new seven-year contract with ESPN to remain the UFC president. So needless to say, White has been able to snag some pretty luxurious real estate. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Will Marlon Palmer and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. Now we've previously reported on the homes of The Rock and Tiger Woods, so if you'd like to, please check out those videos. If you like these videos, please ring that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at ThatDoomFly to chat some more and hit me up in the comment section below with whose house tour we should do next. Let's get into the video. After finding where he wanted in Las Vegas, White bought three properties next to each other for a combined total of $6 million. These three properties acquired throughout the years have formed into one mega mansion and let me tell you, they have no shortage of luxe features. For those that love to game, Dana has his own personalized arcade which is perfect for kicking back and playing racing games like Daytona USA and of course the classic Street Fighter. Who doesn't love Street Fighter, am I right? In addition, there's also table football too so that'll keep him busy and his family amused. Dana is a sucker for Boston sports teams, in fact Dana White's house also has a personalized basketball court outside his mega mansion and the basketball court is personalized with the famous Celtics leprechaun logo in the middle. That is so ugly by the way. That if you're not, if you're a Celtics fan, I'm sorry. Another luxe feature in the White Residence is this outdoor salt water pool surrounded by two gazebos on either side of the pool. The outdoor area is accompanied by comfortable beds, couches, sun lounges, and an outdoor bar for those that fancy a Chardonnay, of course. Afterwards, guests lucky enough to visit can wind down and grace a spot in the jacuzzi. Being a self-proclaimed gym nut that he is, the mansion features its very own state-of-the-art gym. This high-tech gym in his spacious abode is filled with more equipment than your local gym, which is steps away from a cozy yet spacious sauna. Dana has a living space with two enormous couches at the center, enveloped with dress cushions and pristine carpets. The room features a large projector screen, perfect for binging, and famous portraits, capturing some of UFC's finest moments. Dana's house is uniquely packed with unconventional things, including AK-47 decorated with dollar bills, larger than life-size images of his fighters, and bullets made from oil, blood, cocaine, gold, diamonds, and religious symbols. That's not weird. 
Probably the most unique possessions are two samurai swords calmly placed on a table in the middle of the room and a fossil he purchased at an auction back in 2009, perfect for humble bragging. In addition, Dana's home boasts a living space that features its own personal bar decked out with cozy leather furnishings and another massive projector screen. The room features one of many vending machines White has on the property, perfect for the cheat day. Back in 2019, Dana White had listed the Ultimate Fighter Mansion on the market for $5 million. The home, which put up and coming mixed martial artists in the same house, competing in a series of elimination matches to win a six-figure contract with the UFC featured 9,500 square feet and boasted nine bedrooms and 12 bathrooms. The lavish abode, originally built in 1996, is on property with a little over two acres, and he has plenty of space for guests to park. We're willing to bet a few Ferraris and Lamborghinis have made their way there. Double doors open to a two-story spacious circular foyer with soaring Roman columns. The home's previous owner had commissioned a rustic mural on the ceiling above the foyer with recessed lighting to show the mural's elaborate details. Just off the foyer is the open concept kitchen and living room which has large arched windows looking out onto the backyard. It appears the UFC has since renovated the kitchen replacing its black countertops with a lighter stone painting its cabinets and islands taking out a chandelier and replacing drapes with modern shades. Steps away from the beautiful kitchen complete with island perfectly centered are a cluster of large furnishings perfect for team meetings. The UFC had turned the home's formal dining room into a pool hall with a custom UFC branded pool table and large art prints of past UFC's champions. The lavish home features an abundance of master suites that come complete with king size beds, luxe furnishings, and personal bathrooms. In addition, the bathroom features elegant tiling, cozy soaking tub that boasts terrific views, and a large stand and shower perfect for relaxation. While the home interior is pretty impressive, probably the most glamorous spot on the property is found outdoors. Outside, the home features a walk-in pool, stone, waterfall, gazebo, and kitchen perfect for relaxation. In addition, the backyard is decked out with palm trees and walkways give the property a resort-like feel. The mansion is perfectly located a little west of the Las Vegas Strip and a 20-minute drive from the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Dana White's mega mansion and the UFC house. After seeing that fancy little crib he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of Dana? Personally, I was a huge fan of that mega mansion in Vegas. Having your own arcade and basketball court, even though it's ugly, I, I, I would definitely opt in for that. Out of White's features, which ones were your fave? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. I'd love it if you guys follow me on Instagram at that McFly. So we can chat some more, of course, and hit me up in the comment section below with whose house tour we should do next. See you guys next time. Bye.